It's another comic book Wednesday, which means those comic shops get to shut up and take my money. Welcome back to This Week in Comic Candy News. Since San Diego Comic Con is right around the corner, I decided to do a little tribute by doing a casual cosplay gender bend of one of my favorite characters ever, Fry from Futurama. So let's talk about comics. Let's get started with my full list for this week. I've never read an Archie comic in my life before. How? I don't know. But I couldn't pass up this cover. It's kinda gorgeous. Honorable mention this week is going to go to Strange Fruit. I wouldn't have known about this if the good guys over at Fat Collectibles didn't tell me about it, and I'm glad they did. It's a really good read, but I'm most impressed with the artwork. It's beautiful watercolor. The detail in it is amazing. I suggest you pick it up even if you don't read it. At least look at the artwork, especially the last page. Now I'm going to break it down to my top three comics of this week. Number three is Runaways number two. This comic took me on a little bit of a roller coaster ride. There was some twists I was not expecting, some deaths, Spoiler alert, I was not expecting, and it totally took me through a loop. The art's really great, the writing I think is phenomenal. I tend to become emotionally attached to a lot of characters, especially in comics and TV shows. When I become attached, it's never a good thing because I get super emotional. And only two comics in, I grew attached to some of the characters, so it was a pretty rough read for me, surprisingly. But I really enjoyed it, and I think you will too. Number two, Tomorrow's. This is the first issue that came out from Dark Horse, and I was not expecting to pick this up. I was just kind of browsing the racks, and boom, there it was. So I figured, let's give it a try, and I'm glad I did. This is completely in the future, where art is banned, and the government is actually taking art that people post on the internet and using it as weapons and using it against them. So there's a group of hero rebel-esque people who are trying to go ahead and save that and fix the future. My favorite line from this comic came early on when this guy busts in the room to save one of the artist scrolls. She's like, who are you? And he is all, I am Toshiro Mifun having sex with David Bowie. I am death in a denim jacket. I am your best friend. So if you want to read an awesome comic about a group of people who are trying to free information and free the world one art at a time, go ahead and pick up tomorrow's. Number one pick for this week is 1872. I have been looking forward to this comic since I heard it was coming out because I love cowboys and I love the Avengers. In issue one, you are introduced to Steven Rogers, aka Captain America, who is the sheriff of a small town named Timely. You also meet Stark, who is the town drunkard, and Bruce Banner, who is a married doctor. To who? I don't know, they haven't said, but you gotta keep reading to find out. It's a whole Cowboys and Indians adventures drama filled with hangings, shootings, drunks, everything you expect a Western to be. I love it. You should love it too. Go pick it up now. I really don't know what you're waiting for. You're still watching this video. You're not picking it up wrong with you. Go get it. Those were my comics for the week and those were my top three. Now as I mentioned before, San Diego Comic-Con is coming up this week. Unfortunately, I won't be going. No really, I'm fine. I'm not okay. Really, I'm fine. But if you are going, my favorite things to see besides all the panels are the cosplays. So feel free to hit me up on Twitter with some of your favorite cosplays that you're seeing. Or if you are cosplaying, I'd love to see it. Or if there's anything else interesting, let me live vicariously through you. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Let me see what you're seeing. Because I'm okay not going to Comic Con. And as I mentioned before, I am addicted to Kickstarter and I found something else pretty awesome to back. It is the Secret Loves of Geek Girls. 
they actually doubled their funding. So now they're looking into making the entire thing in color, which I think is pretty awesome. If you think that's something up your alley, definitely go check out the link below. One last thing before I leave you, I'm gonna be cleaning out my comic closet. And some of my comics are gonna need new home. So stay tuned to see how you can become a proud new owner of some of these comics. Too many comics, too many comics.